I call Alicia Lima. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move that the minimum wage starting at wage abolition amendment be now passed by the House. I am opposed to the abolition of this bill because it provides the 37,500 young people who are not in education, employment or training with an opportunity for indiscriminate employment. This bill was introduced in the wake of the global financial crisis and is going to be paramount in the economy's recovery in the aftermath of a global pandemic. The bill was put in place to encourage businesses to take on young workers at a reduced pay rate while they establish foundational skills in the workforce. There are negative long-term economic and social impacts associated with young people being unemployed for significant periods. On the starting wage, youth get 20% less than the minimum wage in their first six months of employment because of their inexperience in the workforce. It is not age-based discrimination, but is based on work experience. Put simply, people with more skills get paid more for their qualifications. The starting wage is a short-term incentive for businesses to take on inexperienced workers and train them to earn a higher wage. Mr Speaker, this bill is pertinent because it incentivises businesses to continue hiring young people in a tight labour market where jobs are hard to come by. This ensures we have limited number of unemployed youth who could ultimately be destined to becoming long-term beneficiaries. Young people are disadvantaged in the labour market as they lack the skills and experience of older workers, and this bill acknowledges that. The starting wage is only temporary, and there are policies put in place to ensure that it is non-exploitative. If this act were to be abolished and everyone was paid the same minimum rate, there would be fewer entry-level jobs available to youth, as employers would hire workers with experience. It is important to note that not all youth in employment are paid below the adult minimum wage, demonstrating that it's not compulsory for employers to pay the starting wage. It instead acts as a safety barrier and encourages employers to take a chance on upskilling and training youth to be confident in the workforce. Statistics show that young people who are neither in employment nor in education risk becoming socially excluded, as with income below the poverty line, they lack the skills to improve their economic situation. Working does so much more than provide money. It builds confidence and develops important life skills. The starting wage encourages disadvantaged youth to pursue future careers and ultimately takes them out of the cycle of dependence. If this act were to be abolished, youth would have less chance of employment and lessen their contribution to society, increasing the number of young people not in employment and ultimately impacting mental health. Remember that we all had to start at the bottom at some point and this bill offers a gateway to success. Therefore, I stand against the abolition of this bill. Uh, the question is that the minimum wage starting out wage abolition amendment bill be passed by the House. I call Rosalie Norton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 